MS525 Marine two-way speakers. These speakers are unique five and a quarter inch speakers that have a multi-application use, whether you want to install them in your boat, your UTV, ATV, Polaris, or even your car. But before I say anything else, let's listen to how these sound. Just want to explain the setup really quick. I have two of our MS525Ws in our wakeboard tower kins, which are our MAC525Ws. Let's go ahead and listen to how this sounds. speakers sound so loud and clean because a booming 200 RMS watts powers the pair. On top of that, these speakers give you a better listening experience because they're two-way speakers, which means you'll hear the highs, the mids, and the lows much more distinctly. The MS525 speakers come in two beautiful colors of black and white and are designed to be easily installed into wakeboard tower cans like our MAC 525 series. The speakers themselves are built with a ferrite magnet, a high-end polypropylene cone, and a one-inch ASP voice coil, which all give it that unique and clean sound, distortion-free. The speakers are fully marinized against freshwater and saltwater conditions, and with an IPX rating of 56, these speakers are fully water and rust-proof. Furthermore, the ABS plastic used for the basket and grill was anti-UV molded, so it'll be able to withstand any harsh sunlight, whether you're on land or on the sea. The set also includes speaker wire with spade connectors and all the installation hardware you'll need to make your install hassle-free. So if you're looking for high quality, clean sounding, five and a quarter inch speakers that are perfect for your wakeboard speakers on your boat, your UTV or ATV or even car, look no further than the MS525 by Rockville. This video will apply for the speakers in the series that swivel and for the ones that stay in one direction. They also come in two colors of black and white, but the setup for each of them is the exact same. Now these speakers are able to fit onto bars as wide as 1.26 inches or 2.87 inches, which makes them perfect for any boats, Jeeps, UTVs, and much more. We include both 65 millimeter and 80 millimeter bolts to expand the bracket however wide you need. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the long bolts and nuts that hold the brackets together. Now if you're setting up the RWB70s or the rwb 90s you can remove this rubber insert here to reveal this bolt in the middle of the bracket Which allows you to swivel the speaker to adjust its position So if you do want to adjust the position you'll just take a large allen key and use that to loosen the bolt in the middle And now you'll see I'm able to adjust the bracket and spin it around 360 degrees and once you found a position you like you'll just use the allen key to tighten the bolt back in place So after that we can line up our speaker to wherever we want to place it on our pole now you'll want to be sure that the rubber inserts are attached to the bracket so that it doesn't move around when we place the speaker onto the pole and stays nice and fitted. So then we'll just take the top piece of the bracket and line that up adjacent to the bottom bracket. Then you'll take each bolt and feed them through the holes of the brackets. Then you'll take each nut piece and screw them back on to the bottom of the bolts. Now once the nuts are secured to the bolts, we can actually use this groove on the bottom of the bracket to hold the nut in place as we tighten the bolts to hold the speaker in place. Now the setup for the RWB65 and the RWB80s are the exact same except we take the bracket piece off through the back. From there we use the same exact steps and use the nut grooves on the back of the bracket when securing it to the bar. Now these speakers also come with a safety cable so that they stay loosely attached to the bar in case the speaker falls. You'll just take the end with this clip piece here, wrap it around the bar, and attach it to the other end of the wire. So now we can connect each speaker to the amp. For this you'll want to grab some speaker wire. You'll take one end of your speaker wire and plug the positive and negative ends into the positive and negative terminals here on your speaker. Then you'll take the other ends and plug them into the positive and negative terminals of any available channel on your amp 
or the direct speaker outputs of your head unit. So now we'll just do the same exact thing with the other speakers and plug them into the available channels on our amp. So now that we've got all of our speakers connected to the amp, I have my phone here connected to the amp through Bluetooth. So let's play some music and hear how they sound. Woo! Yeah, definitely hearing all that low end. You hear plenty of high end. It's gonna be perfect for when you're out on the waves, out driving around. Sounds awesome. 